I'm creating a grounded fantasy world set in the 1800s based on the islands of the Galapagos. I'm calling this project Cryptic Galapagos. In this world I'm creating, the protagonists are marine iguanas. Marine iguanas are cold-blooded reptiles that have been on these islands for hundreds of thousands of years. But these are no ordinary marine iguanas though. They have in some way gained the ability to rapidly evolve and adapt to their environment. They can change their entire genetic makeup at will and can channel into very specific genes that can benefit them in multiple ways. On the islands of the cryptic Galapagos, the marine iguanas and other species have gained intelligence with no definite reason as to why. They became very aware of their new consciousness and therefore they could share values, ideas, create cultures and have morals. Bitter cerebral capacity resulted in many species becoming very powerful, but with all their power, they soon turned on each other. In the past, they would battle for basic needs, but these conflicts have grown into much bigger and important fights for territory, food, and resources. Plenty of creatures started building weapons and armor, changing at a fast pace to adapt to the challenges they have created for themselves. The marine iguanas also have their fair share of internal conflicts, and many have left the herd in search of answers. Since marine iguanas could adapt so easily, this resulted in many clans of iguanas that have created homes in a variety of conditions. Some stayed with their own, and others even went to other species in their quest for understanding. Each iguana born into this hostile world starts out neutral, and you have to decide how you want to move about on the multitude of islands and adapt to the conditions you are confronted with. The iguana I'm working on right now left the nesting grounds and ventured into the muddy swamps of the mountains. Here, he would encounter the clan of the great Galapagos tortoises, or as they are known amongst the islands, earth shells. In order to gain right of passage into the tortoises' muddy territory, you must battle their best warrior to submission or death. This is no easy task, since the earth shells have also adapted in their own way for years and are known for their knowledge and wisdom and by many for their titanic battles, which usually ends with a submission to any opposing faction. Iguanas have shown interest in earth shell knowledge for years but little to none have witnessed any of their culture, since this rite of passage is very hard to obtain. But should you be one of the victors, you will have valuable insight into the clan of the earth shells and in learning their way of survival, combat, life and death. There is one specific reason many iguanas want to join the earth shells clan. The iguanas that emerge from the tortoises territory are a force to be reckoned with. Little is known of the knowledge that can be obtained by learning their ways, but we do know that they prioritize defensive tactics above all. Should you be able to hold true to the trial of the earth shells, you would have gained the ability to tune into a reptilian ancestral strain which will have you metamorphosize into a variation of defense focused builds. At this point in time, I'm still developing different evolutionary strains, but this specific build I'm growing right now is called the Noceros strain. The inspiration for the look of it came from an Indian rhinoceros, since it has those bumps and thick pieces of skin. Choosing this build as your primary will result in your iguana to stack double defense, increase in size and sacrifice balance for sheer strength. Metamorphosis allows the iguanas to allocate certain proteins deliberately, in this case, by borrowing the energy in your tail. The noceros allocates plenty of muscle to other parts of the body as well, increasing its overall strength. Being defense focused, this build has insane damage resistance and pure power, but you do however sacrifice speed and might be prone to a variation of attacks by Galapagos predators and invasive species. 
with the knowledge, disciplines and resources of the great tortoises of the Galapagos, surviving on these hostile islands might be a bit more realistic, especially given the incoming threats.